everybody and welcome back to my Minecraft Playtime series where I have been super busy going through and organizing everything in this storage system. And I really gotta say it's actually been really nice to take a little bit of a break from the frankly kind of stressful task of putting all this together. Not because you know it's crazy difficult but because if I mess up one thing then everything goes bad and that's it's just you know it's it's a little bit stressful but organizing this thing has been the exact opposite i i go through i fly on over here i'll come into a chest and just grab well i mean I've, I've actually gone through most of these so most of them aren't full you know i'll grab a couple items i'll fly all the way back fly up onto these upper chests and you know i'll let's say i need to put chiseled stone into this one i'll just put two up there i i don't because i actually have chiseled stone somewhere else but you get the picture i it's just been so nice so easy so mindless i guess is the right word but they say all good things must come to an end and we are really approaching the end of our we've got you know i haven't labeled all of these but we've got down to i think this one right here on this side and then i think over here we've got all the way over to here so we've we've got a lot of extra chests that we can use for i don't know re reorganizing stuff that we need to put there eventually i'm sure there's tons of items that i have that i don't actually have a place there and then of course there's always new updates so we could be getting new items and well that's a perfect place for them to go. And I've actually been planning a little bit ahead because you can see I left a big spot in my wood section right here. And that's gonna be for all the, I think it's called pale wood. You know, the, the new white wood that's coming out. And I am so excited for that. I've actually already been thinking of how I'm gonna use that in, in like a whole bunch of different builds. So really, really excited for that one to come out. But as I've gone through sorting all this stuff, I've actually been thinking a lot about kind of what I wanna do with this storage system. Not. You know, I mean, obviously I just want to use it for storage, but I want to add my own kind of personal touch to it. Does that make sense? You know, all this redstone up here that Mooney and Rapscallion came up with is just absolutely incredible. But I think there's some slightly more simple redstone that I could go through and produce that could make my life just a tiny bit easier. And my thought is that I can have like a line of redstone lamps coming along either side. Let me just grab a couple of these. And yeah, I'll, I'll go through, destroy all this, and I can put those in there, and then I can attach them to like a comparator on those hoppers back behind there, and then run a redstone signal underneath to show me, oh, there's items coming into this chest. Or it would even let me know when this hopper back here is completely filled, because what I like to do in this one is I've got it really, really well organized. But that also means that, you know, if I have too many oak stairs, then all the oak stairs are going to get backed up, and then they're all going to come into this one eventually, which is totally fine, because I've got this storage up here but it also makes it so all of the rest of this storage is just kind of useless because none of, nothing is ever going to get past all these stairs so if i've got a light that turns on when all this fills up then i'll have a really easy way of knowing oh i need to get rid of all this and oh let me just pop this up into one of these upper chests you know what i mean does am i making sense and i'm hoping that this is actually a pretty easy thing to do i don't really know for sure but i'm gonna give it a try so i'm here in a creative copy of the world where i sometimes come to test out little things you can see there's a couple little redstone devices that i've made but this right here is just a copy of what i've got over there at the storage system and i'm just trying to work my way through here and decide how exactly i want to go about doing this the obvious thing is that I need a comparator right here, and then I somehow need a way to bring this signal over here and then down underneath this block to light this up. But unfortunately, I've kind of got a little bit of a problem where even if I use this glass, this signal is never going to go past here. I don't actually know why it doesn't go all the way down to this block, because I, I think if I, because yeah, if I put this here, then it goes on to the, I, it's, it's just magical redstone that I don't understand. However, it does mean that I need to find a new way to get this signal to come down here, and I'm not really sure how to do that. The other problem, of course, is that even if I do get this lit, a redstone line going right under this isn't actually going to light this up. So I need to find a way to uh, get the signal to move up to here. And this is probably super obvious to lots of more talented redstone users than me, but I'm going to try and work my way through this, and I will bring you back here in just a bit. All right, I'm back, and I think I found a really good solution that actually works for both of these so so this one was a lot easier i can just put a block here and uh this powers the block which turns on the the lamp so that was easy enough this one over here bringing the redstone level from here all the way down one was a little bit more difficult because i know to go up you know i can do like a redstone torch 
ladder sort of thing. So I know about that, but going down seemed a little bit more difficult. But I did just a little bit of Googling, and it seems that if I put a sticky piston right above here, and then I attach a redstone block to it here, then all I gotta do is I can put that up onto there, and then we get a situation where putting items into here causes this to go... That was actually a little bit too fast. We can put those items into there, and then that activates the piston, which brings down the redstone block, which powers this, and then lights up the lamp. These guys always spawn at the worst times, and they're so noisy. Sorry about that. But anyway, I think this should work. So let me just go back over to my actual world and see if I can implement this. You guys know that feeling you get when you're like hanging out with some friends or just in a group of people and you have this really amazing idea and you got it in your head and you're just thinking, wow, this is actually a brilliant idea. And then you open your mouth and you tell it to everyone and they all just give you this blank stare like you just said the dumbest thing in the entire world. Now imagine you're a YouTuber and you think you come up with a really cool redstone device that's actually going to work and you tell your audience, wow, this is a really good idea. I think I'm just going to implement this in my actual world and then you bring it over here and then you realize you overlooked one very very important detail yeah i forgot to make this thing tileable that thing i made it works really good if there's just one of them but it's not so good if you need it to be tileable and uh yeah, I need this to be tileable. If you, like me, uh, aren't that good at redstone, being tileable just means you can put it right next to each other, like this. Because you can see there's a really big problem where if I put an item into here, you can see this part works just fine. We, could, we have this redstone block going down and it lights this up. The problem is it lights up all of this because all this redstone is connected. So no matter how far down we go, we can go like maybe 15 blocks down. This is going to keep lighting up the whole way. Like even if I build this all the way over here, you know, this is still going to be lit up all the way over here. So uh, yeah, with this system, if I ever do it, then it's actually going to light up all of the redstone lamps along the line but it's actually even worse than that because due to some quirks of redstone that i overlooked in my ignorance when you put two redstone lines right next to each other they actually interact just a little bit differently so you'll see right here if i take out this one that redstone starts going into the block and if i look there you can see the lights on However, if I come back here and I just replace this block like that, then magically the light turns off. So yeah, uh, it turns out if that redstone dust isn't actually pointing into the block like that, then uh, it doesn't power the block, which is a really big problem. So it turns out my redstone device is not only inefficient, but it's also completely non-functional. So uh, yeah, I think we go back to the drawing board. All right, so I remembered from, I think, a Tango video a long, long time ago, back when he was working on Decked Out, where he talked about how he can switch out redstone lines for powered rails, and that actually allows the redstone signal to run right next to each other in parallel. You can see I can turn on this one, or I can turn on this one, and they don't activate each other. The problem is, is that a powered rail cannot power a block, which means I need to do something a little bit different. But then I had the idea of maybe using, not like that some observers because it's a little bit hard to see let me actually bring this uh redstone line around just a little bit so you can see but you can see that if i put this torch down you can see there's just a little tiny flash of redstone every time i change the state of this right here and i'm thinking that i should be able to use this to activate this somehow so uh give me a few minutes to iterate with this and i will bring you back in just a second all right so this is actually the next day i spent an incredible amount of time working on this and I came up with something amazing but let me just work you through how I got there so of course you remember my first pathetic attempt there are all sorts of problems with this but the biggest problem is that it doesn't work the redstone doesn't actually power this block which means this is totally useless therefore the first thing I did when I fixed this is I made it tileable so I added an observer in here and then a block that's powered by the observer so now I can put items into here so you can see that it actually works. But this actually revealed another problem, which I, this is such a simple fix, but it took me so long to figure out. So you can see if I put an item in here, you can see it lights up, but it only lights up for just a second. So if I've got a huge number of items coming through here, it's just gonna light up once. And then at the very end, once all of this runs out, 
then it'll light up again. But that's totally useless. Like, I, I, I don't need that. So I added in copper bulbs. Literally just one tiny little change, but this actually took me a really embarrassing amount of time. But you can see now, if I put in a whole bunch of items in there, it lights up just fine. And even if I put them up here at the top, you can see it'll light up. And then as soon as I run out of items, then boom, it'll turn off. So this works basically perfectly but there's actually one important flaw in this machine and it's one that's shared by all of these other ones it's just not as easy to notice because well they had much much bigger flaws and that's that if i put in let's say i put 32 items in here so i put those in there and you'll see all three of these light up because this redstone signal it will light up all of those and then once it goes to down to about like 20 or so then it'll only light up this one and i'll be honest i was actually about ready to just quit here and call it good because i mean that's that's a really minor problem it's only going to be a problem if there's like a big backup here and then it wouldn't be too difficult for me to find out oh well this one's the one in the middle so this is the one that i need to change however i thought about it a little bit and i was like you know what i'll bet i can fix this and so i came to the next design which actually just kind of copies the same thing we have down here but yeah all i did is i just replaced this little redstone dust right here with a powered rail and then added in an observer to check when this is powered and we get a cool little system where no matter how many ridiculous numbers of items I put in here it's only gonna light up the one that is actually supposed to be powered because only this one singular rail will get powered and I gotta say I am so proud of this design but I actually made it just ever so slightly more efficient because if we come over here, I actually swapped out the redstone block that was here. You know, that's nine redstone dust. And I swapped out one of these powered rails down here. That's, you know, some extra redstone dust and gold. And I put in an observer here and then just, you know, this can be any block and it works exactly the same. So, you know, again, I can just fill this up with blocks and only that single one is gonna work. And then, you know, I can put blocks over here and that one will pop up. So it works exactly the same as this one, but it's just ever so slightly more redstone efficient because, you know, really the only thing in here that I have even a tiny amount of trouble getting is redstone dust because it's a little bit harder to farm than the rest. I've got a villager breeder, but yeah, I am, I'm just so ridiculously proud of this system. I just like, look, look at this. I can put items over here and each one of these will light up. And then as soon as all of this comes out, there you go. It turns off. And you know, I dabble in redstone here every once in a while. I, I mean, nothing serious, but I think I'm finally starting to really see the allure to it. Like this, this was just so much fun to work through. After I finished that last clip and I was like, oh, I'll just work on this for a little bit. I just, I don't know. I just kind of got to working on it and I slowly, slowly, slowly fixed one problem at a time, added in like the powered rails and then we added in the copper bulbs and then we just kept iterating, iterating, making it a little bit better every time. And then we finally got to this last one and I I actually feel so confident that I have just made this as efficient as I possibly can that I am going to challenge anybody watching this video right now if you can come up with a better more efficient design for this little system seriously what what is it with this guy and always showing up at the exact wrong time but as I was saying I will I'm not sure I'll I'll give you a shout out in the next video like anybody who can make this system just a tiny bit better if you can prove that I did something slightly inefficient with this then I'll give you a shout out in the next video so yeah uh consider yourself challenged Wow, I really wish I'd gotten that recorded. I was just walking right up out of my storage area and I came down here and right as I got here, like lightning struck right in front of me and created all of these skeleton horsemen. So uh, that's that's kind of cool. I uh, don't have a bow to deal with them, although it kind of looks like they're going to deal with each other. I guess maybe I can. Uh, I, I don't want to hit the horse, though. Now, nah, let's just get the bow. Oh, he, he killed the skeleton horseman and not the... Oh, that's a shame. Well, okay. Well, we've got three of them. And that horse is really getting up there. Let me get some leads real fast. I just... I can't believe he went all the way up there by himself. But, uh... Here. Come... With me. Let's try to get down here without you hurting yourself. Okay. That's that's okay. We can We can heal you up. And then we'll get you and where do i even put these guys you know what that you can go right here right there we go you guys just hang out here until i figure out what to do with you but those guys will have to wait because i really want to get this new device implemented in here and i think it won't be too tough so let's just time lapse those in
And now we can just throw in a random assortment of items. There we go. It worked right away. So you got the little click right there at the end. Oh, I love it. We can go ahead and wait just a little bit longer and I think some more will pop in. But there we go. There's another one. And we've got items filtering in. Yep, it is working perfectly. I am so happy with how this turned out. And it really turned out to be a pretty simple system to put together, to be honest. I mean, we just have this little layer at the bottom and the layer at the top. And the hardest thing is putting in the observers, but even that's really nothing. And in the dark, you can actually see it better. They're just lighting. There's one there, and now we've got one here. One little thing you might have noticed. So you can see this piston is just a little bit noisy. You can, I, as you come up close, it's a little bit noisy, but the really cool thing is that unless you're standing right here on the edge, then you're not even going to hear it at all. So yeah, I, I'm just so proud of this little system that we put together. I'm so glad that I took the time to actually really figure it out and get a nice efficient system in there and again if you come up with a better design please let me know i would love to see it i mean i'm probably not going to change this just because i'm really proud of what i did myself but if you do find something better i'd love to see it but with this little side project all out of the way i think it's time we move on to the next section and oh boy am i excited for this as i keep saying we're going to finally get started on our medium bulk storage that's going to be just a, a typical impulse item sorter with each set of chests only containing one item it's not going to be multi item storage and we're not going to have every single item in the game here because we've got the multi item storage for you know the items that we're not going to have hardly any of at any given time but i want to have the option you know let's say i run over here and i'm looking and oh we've got way too much mossy stone brick these are all completely filled all the way up well then all i'm gonna have to do is i'll just run over here we'll find one of our new item sorters over here and i can just put mossy stone bricks into that one and it's just gonna be a really nice convenient way for me to look at what i have over here and decide what i have too many of and what i need to add into this storage system but we're gonna have a lot of storage here a lot of storage but if we want to have any chance of holding all of that storage in this little area we're gonna have to make it a lot deeper so i gotta go back to digging again oh and i need to make sure i wax these before they start to oxidize all right we've got our giant hole so now we can get to work lot of chests but we've still got to do the hard part we've got to do all the redstone Now that is a lot of chests. In fact, it's so many chests that I went through and I think if you take every single chest in all of this storage system here and this storage system right here, and if you include all of the hoppers, then this whole thing contains roughly 4,400 chests. And sure, this whole thing isn't the biggest storage system that's ever been created, but it's by far the biggest one that I've ever made myself. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished right now. And while yes, there's still quite a bit of work that I need to do, I still need to set up like the final hopper line that's going to go through and connect all of this together. But that's pretty minor stuff. And kind of like what I did over here, that's just not very exciting to show you. So I'm just going to do it in between episodes. I've also, while going through and placing 
ridiculous numbers of chests. Had plenty of time to think about what I want the interior in this whole place to look like. And I've got some really, really cool ideas that I'm super excited to show you, not just for the interior, but also for the facade here on the outside. But that's all gonna have to wait for next episode because this has just taken me way too long. I mean, sure, placing all the chests and the redstone, that was a lot of work, but funnily enough, just going through and organizing all of this storage in here probably took me about a week. And I mean, that's taking into consideration that I, I don't have all day to play every day. But still, considering how much of my free time I put into this, uh, it took a long time. Oh, and that's not even considering the huge amount of work that I did over here. This was probably like two-ish hours, I think, of mining. And we only did this very first layer here. I'm not sure if I made a big mistake by just getting all the water across right now because I guess now I'm gonna have to go through and, you know, mine like this under the water, but it's really not that bad with the beak. I, like, this is nothing. Like, this is, this is really easy. So I think this is actually gonna be fine, but I'm actually really itching to get over here and do some work here too. Not the mining, I'm sick of mining. But building up this huge lake village, I'm I'm really, really excited for that project. Oh, there's just so many things to do and not enough time. But anyway, I think that's going to be all for this episode. I am so happy with all the progress that we got done. This is just... Uh, once, once this interior gets all put in here and you don't have to look at all the dirt, it's going to be so amazing. But yeah, that's all I've got for this episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on the episode and give it a watch. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, come on. You didn't really think I was going to go a whole nother episode without clearing out these floating trees. This actually ought to be a pretty good test. So I better not see a whole bunch of comments out there saying, Oh, you didn't get rid of the floating trees because I did. And you had to stick to the very end of the episode to see it. Okay, bye.